Welcome to my channel. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian. In this video, I want to share with you introduction to cloud computing. Like most of us must have heard, known, or seen that technologies are changing at a faster speed. The way businesses are done are evolving. The way businesses are run are changing. So we don't need to stay put the way things are done. In this current age and time, you don't need to spend money, spend resources, capital, invest hugely on hardwares, softwares, some of these computer, you know, uh, services or resources. Someone else already done that. The cloud service providers already have that for you to enjoy, pay as you go. So that is what cloud services is all about. It means that as an IT professional, as a cybersecurity professional, this is one aspect of technology that we must pay attention to, cloud computing. Businesses are moving most of their infrastructures, their services into cloud because of the benefit, because of the scalability. So we cannot afford not to know this. However, in this particular video is going to be the introductory part. In my subsequent videos, I'll be sharing with you some of the technical details of cloud computing. So in this video, we'll be looking at what is cloud computing, the benefit of cloud computing, types of cloud computing, and then types of cloud services. These are what this video will be covering. Now, what is cloud computing? Cloud computing is the delivery of computing services, including servers, storage, database, networking, software, analytics, and intelligence over the cloud, which means the cloud, that is over the internet. So and why is this so? To offer faster innovation, flexible resources, and economic of scales. So cloud computing, what you do is you typically pay only for the cloud services that you use, helping you to lower your operating costs, run your infrastructures more efficiently and scale as your business needs changes. What does this mean? It means that if you need a server, you pay for the amount of server that you need. If you need a storage device, you pay for the amount of storage devices that you need. If you need a database, you pay for the amount of storage database that you need. So take, for example, most majority of us, we use Dropbox. If you only need 50 gigabytes of space of Dropbox, you don't need to pay for one terabyte. You only pay for that 50 gigabyte of storage of uh, Dropbox. For iCloud, for Google Cloud, all of these, the amount of storage spaces that you need is what you pay for. If you now begin to have enough or a lot of data that needs to be saved in those storage devices, you scale up. Maybe you go for one terabyte and then you start paying for one terabyte. That is what cloud computing offers you. That is, you pay for the services that you enjoy. You pay as you go, not spending money buying those services, putting them down then before you enjoy it. So that is what cloud computing is all about. Now let's look at some of the benefits of cloud computing. One, cost. It means that cloud computing eliminates the capital expenses of buying hardwares and softwares and setting them up, running them, you know, you know, putting them on your data center. It eliminates that. You don't need to get IT professionals to help you manage your data center. You don't need to get IT professionals to help you rack and space all of these hardwares and softwares. No, the cloud service providers already have that in place. You just pay and enjoy the services. That is one benefit of cloud computing. It helps you to eliminate all these capital costs. Another benefit of cloud computing is speed. Most of the cloud computing services are provided self-services and on demand. So even vast amount of computing resources can be provisioned in minutes, typically with just few mouse clicks. It means that you need a server with just a click of mouse, your server is ready. You need one terabyte of storage space, you just apply, you just tell them the amount. Within a few seconds, you already have it available to you to use. 
So that is one of the benefits of cloud computing, speed of setting up these cloud resources, these infrastructures is already there. Another benefit is global scale. That is another benefit of cloud computing, global scale. And what does that mean? It means that, you know, delivery the right amount of IT resources, for example, more or less computer power, storage, bandwidth, right when they are needed. You don't need to buy what you don't need. You don't need to source for what you don't need. If based when you're starting your businesses, your business need only one terabyte of space, only one server, that is what you're going to pay for. Now, as your business expands, you need two or three more servers. You pay for those three or three more servers as at the time you need it. If your business scales back and you don't need those, you know, IT infrastructures anymore, then you don't pay for them anymore. So that is the global scale you are talking about. And at any location of the world. So that is a benefit of cloud computing. Another benefit of cloud computing is performance. It's performance. It means that you enjoy the network of secure data center, which are regularly upgraded to the latest generation of fast and efficient computing hardware. Majority of these you know, data centers, these cloud service providers, they, are, they have the latest upgrade, they have the latest you know, patches on their IT infrastructures. So the performance is there. And then another uh, benefit is security. Many of these data centers, cloud service providers already have, you know, securities in place. The access control is there. The uh, physical and environmental controls are there. Uh, the, uh, what's it called now? Some of majority of these data centers, they have independent third party assessments, such as SOC 2 type 2 reports such as ISO 27001 certification, such as penetration testing, such as vulnerability scanning. So all these securities are already put in place for you to enjoy. So that is the benefit of cloud computing. Now let's look at another benefit, productivity. Productivity is another benefit of cloud computing. What does that mean? It means that cloud computing removes the need for many of these tasks such as you're buying, you are racking up, uh, what's it called, IT uh, hardware, softwares, you are having IT professionals to help you manage all of those things. No, your IT professionals can now focus on the main objective of meeting your business need because all those uh, IT infrastructures are already provided by the cloud service you know, uh, uh, pro uh, providers. So it enhances and improves productivity. And then lastly, the benefit of cloud computing is reliability. Cloud computing makes data backups, disaster recovery, and business continuity easier and less expensive because data can be mirrored at multiple redundant sites on the cloud provider's network. So reliability is there because they have high availability, clusters of uh, computing uh, hardware and softwares. So you can rely on them like 99.9% .9 uptime. So these are some of the benefits of cloud computing. Now, types of cloud computing. There are three different types of cloud computing. We have the public cloud. The public cloud are owned and operated by a third party cloud service providers, which delivers their computing resources such as servers, storages over the internet. Example of public cloud providers are the Amazon uh, Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, Oracle Cloud, IBM Cloud. All of these are, you know, public cloud uh, uh, cloud service providers. Uh, the second types of cloud computing is private cloud. Private cloud refers to a cloud computing resources used exclusively by a single business or organization. It means that a business, an entity, an organization builds their own data center for their own exclusive use. And then we have the hybrid cloud. The hybrid cloud combines the public and the private cloud, bound together by technologies that allow data and application to be shared between them, thereby giving businesses greater flexibility, more deployment options, and help optimize their existing infrastructure, security, and compliance. How does this work? 
For example, the business organization has their own data center and now they need to have a backup data center in a public cloud such as maybe Amazon Web Services or uh, Microsoft Azure. So there needs to be like a bond whereby technologies and data will flow in between those two data centers. That is the hybrid cloud uh, computing. Types of cloud services. There are four types of cloud services. One is infrastructure as a service, LATS. The most basic category of cloud computing service is LATS. With LATS, you rent IT infrastructure such as servers, virtual machines, storage, network, operating system from the cloud service provider on a pay-as-you-go basis. So you rent this network, you rent storage, you rent VM machines, you rent servers, you know, on pay-as-you-go basis. That is infrastructure as a service. And then we have platform as a service, PaaS. In platform as a service, it refers to cloud service that supplies an on-demand environment for developers, you know, to develop, to test, to deliver and manage software applications. PaaS is designed to make it easier for developers to quickly create web or mobile app without worrying about setting up or managing the underlying infrastructure of servers, storage, network, and database needed for the development. So with PaaS, developers don't need to worry about, oh, how do I buy, how much will I spend in buying server, in buying storage, no. Uh, with Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud, those resources are there for them to, you know, use on demand. And then we have serverless computing. It's overlapping with PaaS. Serverless computing focuses on building app functionality without spending time continually managing the server and infrastructure required to do so. The cloud service provider handles the setup, capacity planning, and server management for you. You know as a developer and then lastly we have the software as a service which is SaaS. software as a service is a method for delivering software applications over the internet on demand and typically on a subscription basis with SaaS cloud service cloud providers host and manages the software applications and underlying infrastructure and handles any maintenance like software upgrades software patching Users connect to the application over the internet, usually with a web browser on their phone, tablet, or PC. So these are the types of cloud services that we have. This is what you need to know under the introductory part of cloud computing. If this video has been helpful to you, please and please, I beseech you, like this video. Just smash the like button for this video turn on your notification button and lastly 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 subscribe to my channel share this video with your friends with your families this will encourage me to bring out more content you know that will be you know beneficial to every one of us thank you and thank you very much